Some of the buttons that you'll use the most when you're working with Composer are the undo and redo buttons, which uh, operate just as they uh, seem to. Uh, if you grab something and then you move it around by accident, you just hit undo. Uh, one way to prevent yourself from making mistakes and moving elements that you've already placed is to select an element like this uh, chess puzzles text box, click on the inspector button, and then just lock that item. It'll turn blue, and now it's not going to move no matter what you do to it. Uh, it's actually a good idea once you position your objects on your page to go ahead and lock them in place and then you're not accidentally moving things uh, like this is already locked, that's locked, that's locked. Um, this one's not locked so I move that out of the way. Oh well I, I didn't want to do that so I can just hit my undo button and then I go up here to the inspector and click lock and we're back in business. I'd like to take you on a tour of the inspector panel which is one of the most powerful features of Composer. Let's select an art object here and click on the inspector panel. Now in the inspector you're going to give this object a name. Now the file that you use to create this art object is going to stay the same in Composer. You can create an unlimited number of examples of this particular image file and whenever you create a new one it's going to add a number to differentiate it from the one you have before. So like this one for example is called Go Forward Finger. Uh, if I wanted to um, add another one of these it would probably be Go Forward Finger dash one because that way Composer would be able to see that the new instance of this art object is different and so they could be given independent controls. Uh, so we can cut, we can copy the object and then paste it somewhere else on this page or another page. We can delete the object. Bring to front is a, a great way to get this up at the very top if you're going to be nesting or, or layering objects for design purposes. Send to back, another great one if you want to put something behind something like this chess puzzles uh, text box is in front of this ornament. If you were to click the inspector and uh, click send to the back, it would do just that. Now it's still there, but it's behind the ornament, so let's hit undo. And it's back.